the stars of Strictly Come Dancing couldn't contain their excitement as the show returned to Blackpool for the first time in three years. Covid restrictions meant that the last two series of the hit show haven't been able to film their annual episode in the famous Tower Ballroom. Yet the class of 2022 broke the streak as they returned to the seaside resort on Thursday to check out the town ahead of rehearsals for Saturday's live show. Molly Rainford and Carlos Gu looked positively giddy as they checked out the sights of the town, play fighting at a tram stop as Carlos picked up the singer and spun her around. Last weekend the pair performed the rumba to All the Man That I Need by Whitney Houston and were awarded 37 points, their highest so far. For Blackpool Week they will take on the jive to bandstand by Boogie Barry Manilow. Meanwhile, Wilmella and Nancy Zhu ensured they made the most of all their time before the live show as they danced down the street together. The pair impressed with their performance last week as they did a waltz to three times a lady by the Commodores and dedicated the performance to his late father Bill, who passed away from cancer during the pandemic. This week they will perform a samba to I Go to Rio by Hugh Jackman. Hamza Yassin and his dance partner Jawata Shistel looked in high spirits as they skipped down the street. Last week they celebrated his African roots the pair dance to Jiswelma by Master KG and received a whopping 38 points. This week they will do the American Smooth to New York, New York by Frank Sinatra. Tyler West and Diane Buswell looked in good spirits as they were seen sightseeing at the seaside resort. The pair took to the dance floor with a fiery paso doble last week, earning themselves a score of 31, the highest for a paso this series. They still landed in the dance-off however, and will be hoping to avoid that this week with a salsa to KC and the Sunshine Band. Since 2013, Blackpool Ballroom has had an annual slot in the BBC show where the celebs get to perform under the dazzling lights. The BBC refused to explain what the injury was or how it occurred, citing it as a private, medical matter, though there was speculation he had hurt his hamstring, a common complaint for footballers. A source at the studio said that Tony looked upset after the Saturday night show ended. Week 8 is deemed on of the most crucial of the series as it is the last show before the celebrities head to Blackpool to perform world-famous Tower Ballroom. Tony was under increased pressure from Strictly fans to quit the competition after he stayed in last Sunday while Paralympic swimmer Ellie Simmons a favourite to reach the final was sent home. She had scored 12 more points than Adams for her dance. Her exit prompted devoted followers of the BBC dance programme to write to the corporation's bosses and also share their anger on social media. They insisted he leave the show to give his more talented co-stars an opportunity to stay. They were also furious with Arsenal fans for voting for Tony to stay when he was scoring such low marks. Strictly Come Dancing continues Saturdays and Sundays on BBC One and BBC iPlayer. Thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for the latest news and updates.